was that night at 3 a.m. We were just flying through through space, just peaceful on our way back to Earth. But then, all of a sudden, there was another spaceship. It was bigger than ours, but we couldn't identify it. We called in for the radio, but they didn't react. We called it again, and they started they started started talking to us in, in this in this strange language. One of our guys tried to figure it out. They said something like that, that we should stop our ship and let him enter. But as the captain of the ship, I could not allow that. They had strange weapons. They, they, they were stronger than us. They had bigger, bigger people, or whatever it was. It was. They were strange creatures. So I look back on that day. I ask myself, who, who were that? Who were those guys? We never figured out. We had a couple of scientists on board. One of them was my best friend. His name was Peter. We did everything together. Before I were an astronaut, I was just a little boy. But then Peter and I grew up to the level we own no no we own our own spaceship. We 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 were scared for our lives at the moment. We saw those creatures. They entered our ship. We let them in and tried to talk to them. They had in translations we which was really handy for us and for them. They wanted us to cooperate, but we wouldn't. My team was taken from me, except Peter. Peter hid was hidden in the back of the ship. But when they find out, they, when they were leaving, they found out where Peter was. He was brewing in this, in this, in this cabine. He was trying to make, he was trying to make a potion for us to, to let us leave and to stay, to let time stay still. But then, before he could before, before we could finish it, it was too late. They found out where he was. And when they, found, and they, when they arrived in the his cabine, they pushed into this one, right here. They, 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 they left with him here, stuck. They closed the door. They locked it. He was stuck. I had nowhere to go. I could see him from the other side of the door. But they, they, they got a secret kind of strange lock on it, so I couldn't reach him. They, they fled. They, they, they went back on their own spaceship. But. But as soon as I could open the door, I opened it. I ran towards Peter. And then one big explosion at this side of, of the ship was formed. It was it was really, really scary. I was alone with Peter but when the explosion hit us. When the, when the, this part 
of the cabin of the ship exploded. I saw Peter floating away in space. It was a bit so much. It hurt so much for me to see him leave. And I couldn't return him. But as soon as I ran out of the room, everything started to turn into ice. And this part of the ship couldn't work. And from that day, I swear to everything I had left that I would find them and I would destroy everything. I would take whatever they take from me.